For today's video, we are going to have a practice problem on how to evaluate piecewise function. A piecewise function is a function that can be broken up into many parts. Just like in example number 1, this particular piecewise function can be equal to 4x plus 5 or 3x minus 8 depending on the x value. So let's say it is equal to 4x plus 5 if x is less than 2 or 3x minus 8 if x is greater than or equal to 2. So go ahead and find the value of f of negative 2, f of 2, and f of 5. On letter A, how can we find the value of f of negative 2? Which particular function are we going to use? Is it 4x plus 5 or 3x minus 8? Since negative 2 is less than 2, we are going to have 4x plus 5. So this will be 4 multiplied by negative 2 plus 5. 4 multiplied by negative 2, that's negative 8 plus 5, and that is negative 3. So this will be the value of f of negative 2. On letter B, how can we find the value of f of 2? In our given, if x is greater than or equal to 2, we are going to have 3x minus 8. So we are going to use this expression to find the value of f of 2. So let us have 3 multiplied by 2 minus 8. 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6 minus 8 and that is negative 2. So this will be the value of f of 2. What about letter C? How can we find the value of f of 5? So we are going to use this expression because 5 is greater than 2. That is 3x minus 8. So this will be 3 multiplied by 5 minus 8. 3 times 5, that's 15 minus 8. That is 7. So this will be the value of f of 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 7 when x is less than negative 1. It's equal to 5x plus 6 when x is greater than or equal to negative 1 but less than 2. It's equal to x cubed plus 4 when x is greater than 2. It's equal to 12 when x is equal to 2. So how can we find the value of f of negative 4, f of 0, f of 2, and f of 3? On letter A, to find the value of f of negative 4, since negative 4 is less than 1, we are going to have x squared plus 3x minus 7. So this will be negative 4 raised to 2 plus 3 times negative 4 minus 7. Negative 4 raised to 2, that is positive 16. Positive 3 multiplied by negative 4, that's negative 12 minus 7. 16 minus 12, that is 4, minus 7, that's negative 3. So this will be the value of f of negative 4. What about letter b? How can we find the value of, of f of 0? Since 0 is between negative 1 and 2, we are going to have 5x plus 6. So this will be 5 times 0 plus 6. 5 times 0, that is 0, plus 6, and this will be 6. And this will be the value of f of 0. What about letter C? f of 2. If x is equal to 2, f of 2 will be equal to 12. And this will be our answer. What about letter D? f of 3. If x is greater than 2, therefore 3 is greater than 2, we are going to have f of 3 equals x cubed plus 4. So this will be 3 raised to 3 plus 4. 3 raised to 3, that is 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27, plus 4. And this will be 31. So this will be the value of f of 3. This will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.